Hello, this is John Arnold and welcome to another I Did It Tech video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace your wiring harness in a tilt cow. Okay, there is a snap ring at the top of the column, um, which would be right here. Um, you'll need to remove this snap ring. First thing you're going to do though is you're going to remove the nut off of the column. And you take your snap ring pliers and you're going to get right in there and get the snap ring out of here. But it should pop out just like that and that will allow you to remove the snap ring and the horn cam and the load spring will, should come with that as well. And now you see uh, the top of the harness with nothing in its way. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to uh, come to the bottom of the column where the harness is, where the plug is, and each each wire end, okay, one of these, um, has a split on it on the back side. That will give you an indication of which side you need to put your uh, picker on so that you can release the tine that is on the wire end that holds it into the wire plug. So I know that the wire end is split on this side so I'm going to poke it on that side and that should release the tine and you should be able to pull your wire out and you'll repeat that on each individual wire and that will release each wire so that you can pull the plug completely off like so so we want to take the sticker off to the negative side of the relay. You're just going to rip that right off of there for now. Okay. Um, and we need to remove the grommet that is at the wire hole. And we can simply do that by putting our poker in there and kind of lifting up on it and working it right out of there. And removing that right off the top of the wires. Now the next step we will be doing is we want to uh, have these wires laying as flat as possible to run up through the column and out the top of the head. So we will do uh, with masking tape, I'll pull a piece of masking tape off and lay it there and I will put these wires as flat as I can. and tape them together. And and you kind of want it to come to a little point there. Okay. The next thing that I will do is uh, we like to use a pull wire any kind of wire that's flexible but yet sturdy at the same time uh, so that you can pull these wires back out the column uh, when you install the new harness. And we do this like this. Put the wire in between and put a little hook on it. Get it flat. And then we will put another piece of tape on it to keep it on the wire ends. And that should secure that pull wire to your wire ends to install the new harness when this one comes out. Okay, so now we're back at the top of the column and we are going to use a 1 8 inch Allen wrench um, to remove the three button head screws that hold the harness in place. If you have a turn signal lever or a four-way flasher knob, please remove those from the harness before you try to take the harness all the way out. So let's proceed with the screws coming out of this.
you have to move that harness in order to get to the last one. And you can see as soon as that last one came loose, the whole top of the harness wanted to pop out. So at this point, um, we can start working the harness out of the column um, and we can start doing that now. The easiest way to do this is to help the wires through the top of the column and you can push on them from this end and pull on it from the head side. So let's go ahead and give that a shot and if you push down on this and pull out at the same time you can see that by me pushing on these that harness wants to come out of the top of the column there. And you can see why we're using the pull wire because that'll come out here and you latch the other end here so that you don't lose it halfway through the process and at this point you can now disassembling your harness from the pull wire and we can get ready to reinstall the new one. So at this point we're going to remove the tape from the pull wire that way we can install our new harness and run it back through. And you can pull your hook off from the wire and it stays in the column and now you have the old one out and we can proceed to getting the new one prepped to go in. So now at this point we're going to prep the new harness to go into the column. Um, when it comes to you um, it will be in a circular pattern. What we would like to do is take the wires and bend them this way and then we're going to also tape these flat but when you do that you kind of want to string them out so that you can make them flat without too much hassle going through the column. Kind of like so. Now we can take these wire ends and put the tape on them like we did in the previous stage. Now we want to um, put the pull wire and hook it through the harness um, with the black wire of the harness facing towards the center shaft um, so that that will make the harness come up and out the column in the correct manner. So we can go ahead and tape that to it. So now using your pull wire you can now place the new harness through the column go ahead and pull it through. Uh, we want to use the pull wire and your other hand to kind of help it through um, pulling and pushing at the same time. That way it runs through the column uh, pain free. And it exits the top and you want the white wire to come out on the left hand side of the hole. Um, that way um, it rides in the column uh, correctly and now you can just work this in and you can loosely lay it in there for now until you're ready to install your screws. Now that we have our harness pulled through, uh, we want to line the harness up with the pins um, and then we can ins install our button heads back into the column and I prefer to start here um, with the first screw um, and I do not tighten it down all the way. I put the other uh, half inch button head in at the bottom where the turn signal lever would be and then I install the three quarter button head at the very last one, um, that way you can adjust it um, so that it works for everybody and then you will definitely want to tighten this one down and then come back around and tighten the other two. At this point we can take the pull wire off the tape harness and we're just going to pull the tape off release our harness from the hook, set that off the side and now we are going to reinstall our grommet. If you put the grommet over the wires while they're still taped, um, it makes it a lot easier. 
and this should just slide right into place. You may need a flathead maybe to help you out with that. Now we can remove the tape from the wiring harness and reinstall our wiring plug. The wiring plug is lettered, um, starting with letter P uh, with the white wire and working all the way down the plug to the black wire, which is letter G. Okay, reassembly in the top of the column. Um, I usually like to put the shaft on the ground, that way it gives you a good leverage to put everything back together. You're going to start with your load spring, then your horn cam on top of that, push it down a little bit. You're going to put your snap ring on top of that, and with your snap ring pliers you're going to kind of help it along to get it down. And with the uh, receding kit that um, you can get from my did it, we can push down on this and lock it into place. And there you have it. Thank you for watching the I Did It Tech video. If you have any questions, please email us or give us a call and we'd be happy to help you.